All right, here we go once again. Another Project Helium Waters Fly Fishing Special. La 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 la. Doo doo doo. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome. Tonight we will be tying a woolly worm. Um, yeah, it's been um, I don't know about eight months since we've tied a woolly worm. Um, I know we tied some as part of the hairline dubbing. Uh, beginners top 20 fly tying patterns, but uh, we're going to be just kind of going off of what our supply stash. Look at me, I'm a good looking guy. Hey, here we go. Don't forget to hit that uh, thumbs up button. Let me do that right there. If you go right here, there's a little thumbs up button. Bink, and now we got three. Awesome, thanks for uh, tuning in. We do this every Wednesday, rain or shine. Uh, pretty windy out there, uh, inauguration day here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna tie some uh, woolly worms today. Go ahead and uh, hit that thumbs up. Feel free to say uh, hi, hello, uh, how are you in the chat. Good evening, Steve, thanks for uh, tuning in. Um, so yeah, how we doing tonight? We're doing all right, at least on my end. Um, like I said, it, the wind, I can't see nothing now. It's pitch black, but um, yeah. I don't know why we should waste any more time jibber-jabbering. I think we should just jump on and turn around and um, tie some woolly worms. I haven't actually tied uh, woolly worms in quite some time. Um, you know, it's, it's not often come across a pattern so epic so mighty um, that is a friend of the woolly bugger um, I don't know yo -de -do. good evening Paul thanks for tuning in so yeah let's go ahead and uh, do some uh, woolly worms we don't want to see my face anyways let's go but now uh, I must have bumped my there we go. All right. Spin that around. And here we go. Let there be light. So tonight, um, I don't know. I'm going to tie it the same but slightly different than, um, the, than the stuff that came in with the kit because... That's what we're doing. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be tying these on some good old Mustad 3366s, size 8s. Got a whole mess of these. I was thinking about tying some nymphs earlier, but um, I don't know. For whatever reason, this woolly worm just kind of spoked me. Um, and we're going to see where we go with this. Let me just go ahead and zoom in a little bit. What do you think? Do you guys prefer the, I don't know, a little bit more of a zoomed in or do you prefer kind of the wide wide angle that looks good I try to keep things framed up in the camera just fine all right so we got our size eight and just because this stuff is pretty tough as nails I'm gonna be using some Vivas Tenot black Shorten that up a little bit, and we're going to start this right up front, and just trim off that tag in. And hooray, hurrah! Guess what, everybody? I found my hackle pliers that I really like. My favorite ones. It's always good when you can find your old favorites. All right. So first things first, we need to add our tail, and for our tail, a little red tail, you know. Imagination is the limitation when it comes to the woolly worm. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what the old original standard was in the woolly worm, um, but uh, today, to here tonight, we are going to be tying some uh, yarn, classic wool. Here we go, some classic worsted. Not sure what worsted means. Must mean something, but anyways, it's a red wool. Oh, before I do that, I wanted to add weight. So actually, we're gonna un untie our thread. 
because I want this to go on first. My lead wire, lead free, 0 0.025, so that'd be tenths, hundredths. So it'd be 25 hundredths. Let's go ahead and just take a few wraps. One, two, three, four. Take four wraps or so just to start, and then I got this back end. And I can use this to just kind of ratchet and get that side cleaned up a little bit. Here we go. I think that's going to be us right there. Just a small little pinch of uh, lead-free wire. Go ahead and do your helicopter methods or what have you, but that was sure easy. All right. Just a little bit of weight with this little, 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 little woolly worm. I don't know, to me size eights feel pretty, pretty small compared to what were we tying with what last week. Who remembers uh, what size hooks we were using last week? Heck, who remembers what we tied last week? Okay, we got our uh, our weight, our weighted wire on there now. And we'll try this again. Let's start our thread up front. Work our thread through that. I am satisfied. Lock that in a little bit. A couple turns back and forth, and that's going to be good to go. And if we want, which I don't know if it's entirely necessary or not, but sometimes a little bit of insurance policy isn't necessarily a bad thing. So we'll just add a little dab of glue in there, a little secret sauce. What's that, you ask? Some Sally Hansons. The good stuff. And we'll just work our thread into that. Perfect. I like the way that's looking. Okay, so we don't have too far to go for our uh, tail. So what I got here, it's three ply. It's three one, two, three strands, and I tied one earlier, and I, I stripped it down to just uh, two strands. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this with some Velcro, and just kind of fluff that all out. And I'm going to end up taking some of that off, which I guess suppose I could use as a dubbing later on. But we're just going to take that frayed out little tuff, and tie that in as our tail. I like to go just behind the wire because that will help kind of transition and transfer. Alright, so that's, you know, we're going to leave that. I probably am going to end up trimming the, the tail down here just a little bit, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it full length for now. Um, any tips for keeping my thread for sinking in the wire? I actually uh, let it sink in between the wire um, at first, and I laid that thread over top. I'll I'll pay it. I'll do it a little bit slower next time, um, and I'll explain the, how I uh, tie in that wire um, just a little bit more in detail next time around. Uh, oh, worsted is a weight of yarn size four. Well, thank you, Porpoise Power. Appreciates it. Worsted size four, huh? Well, I learned something today then. Okay, so we got our tail in. We also need to tie in, um, we're gonna do a little silver wire, a little fine, fine silver wire. Put my thread forward for that. Um, one of the things, I guess, with the, with the weighted wire, you know, you just wanna make sure you got a solid dam, um, a bump up front and a solid dam in the back to lock things off. And if you can get enough thread tension here and there, it really won't go anywhere. Okay, we got our wire in, and um, you know, kind of the traditional tradition dictates a uh, black chenille. 
So what we do with our chenille is we're going to prepare it. We're just going to strip a little bit of the fuzz off. There we go. Now it's like a little birthday candle wick, right? Let's tie this in. What I can do is I can grab those threads and cinch that up just a little bit and that'll bring it just a little bit closer to the actual back end there. We'll just tie that all in. Alright, so we got our wire in, our chenille in. That's going to uh, leave us where we're at here now. We can go ahead and palmer this forward, touching wraps. We just want to make sure we keep everything nice and tight to the shank of the hook. We don't want to build this up too bulky, too tight, or uh, you know, we want to have a nice evenly spaced. All right, that's good up front. And we'll go ahead and just trim that off. All right. Now we gotta get our hackle. Grizzly hackle. I've got this patch of various hackle, grizzly, and let me get my hackle gauge out here just so I can get an idea. That one looks good. Alright, so what I'm gonna do. Let's see, this is the top side, I do believe. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Alright, we'll just trim all the fluff off. And then we'll do our high and tight. A little notch here, and a little notch there. All right, let's tie that in top side up. I'm spin my thread counterclockwise so we can get it to not jump off the eye of the hook. All right. Hackle is in. <clears throat> and you know what that means. Let's go ahead and um, synchronize your watches. It's hackle time. All right, we'll grab our hackle right there by the tip. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just do one full turn up front. I'm going to do an evenly spaced open spiral working our way towards, oh, the rear after I broke that off. Listen to me silently swear in my own mind. Okay. Looking good. And I think that's going to be us right there. Go ahead and lock this off with the wire. off. But we're going to continue our wraps forward, working our wire forward. And we're going to do our wire as a forward wrap because our forward wrap is actually a counter wrap to the backwards wrap that was a forward wrap that was coming from the front to the rear. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and secure our wire off. Here, right behind the eye. We're going to dip that back in a little bit and build a small little head up front. Just enough to nip that wire off. Alright, we'll make our head. Then we'll whip it off. I'm really 
really kind of fallen in, in love with this Vivas Tenot. I mean, it's pretty tough. It, it feels a lot tougher than like the ADOT. All right, so I, I guess you could leave that tail. I, I would go no longer than a hook's length, but my woolly worms. I like little, just a little pop at the back end, a little bop, bop, bop. All right, head cement. If you want to add some head cement, let's go ahead and do that. You know what? Just for giggles and grins, we're going to keep it simple with the Sally Hansons. You betcha. Let's get a little drop on the bodkin. That's all she needs. Just let that soak in there. And that will be good to go. So what do we think for a basic, easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy, woolly-wormy? Questions, comments? We're going we're gonna to go a little bit more into the wire. We already got our question about wire. Um, Celebrate with a sip. All right. Let's go ahead and pop you off to the side. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm running out of places to put stuff. Let's go ahead and we'll just hang you in there for now. All right. Good evening, Dave. Thanks for tuning in. Coming in again, size eight woolly worm. All right, we're gonna zoom in quite considerably after I show what we got here. So this is our hooks that we're using. Mustads, 33, 66s, size eights. All right, we're gonna zoom in a little bit tighter where we can see the, what we do, how we do our wire. All right, hopefully, that's still in focus a little bit. All right, so with my wire, I'm kind of waiting to see in the monitor how clear this is. Doesn't seem too far off. Okay, so here is our, our lead free wire. Lead free. Alright, I'm going to give it a small little pinch. Just a couple of turns right away. And that gives me a handle to move this. So instead of just cutting that off and wasting, I'm going to use this as just kind of a ratcheting lever. And there you have it. You could also leave the tag into that. You could lay it down, tie it in. I mean, there's a million and one ways to add wire. I'm gonna go one more turn. We're gonna slide it back though. And some people will helicopter it off. By that, they just take their wire and just just rotate it until it breaks off. I'm not a big fan of that. As you can tell, I like using a little clippers. All right, so there's our wire. All right, we tracking so far? Let's see here. All right. 
How about something in chartreuse? Um, I don't know if I have any chartreuse yarn. Okay, so let's continue on. Alright, so the thread, once again, I'm using, I'm using a 10 knot. This Viva stuff is just tough as nails. Start back here, right in front of the uh, or right in front of the wire. Just take a couple of wraps. I'm gonna pull the tag end towards the rear. And as I wrap, I'm wrapping this thread is actually dropping in between the wire. It's going in between the ribs. And what it's doing is it's trapping this thread on top. So it's almost kind of like a sewing machine, maybe. Anyways, once we get back here, we'll just take a few more wraps, lock that all off, and then we can trim off our tag end. Um, that's how I do my initial start to uh, wire. Um, because the only thread that got in between there to begin was uh, just this one round of thread, but I also, at that same time, uh, lashed lashed in the top there. And now I got a little bump in the back. The front is actually folded over holding that in. And now we're going opposite of the direction of the wire that's angled at the wire kind of exaggerated is at this angle. Now we're taking our thread and wrapping it um, perpendicular to it. So little bits of it will get trapped in there. You just got to hop it bop it over and then right up front we're just going to lock that in a little bit more that's how i do my wire um not exclusively every time um, but that's how i'm doing it um, tonight and do it most of the time sometimes i'll lay the wire on top or just the sides i like doing that that way you end up with a flatter profile whatever All right, we'll just work our uh, thread into the little Sally Hansons, and that's it. I mean, it's all it's all getting buried underneath the uh, oh, what do you call it? Underneath the chenille and everything. All right, so let's do another one with our yarn. Or this is our red yarn, wool, red wool. What's your favorite color, uh, sheep? I like the red wool. And actually, what you could do is take some of that little red wool, save that a little bit for a uh, dummy later. You know what? Maybe we could save that for a bonus fly. So just off the end, I'm just going to fray that out with my thumb and a little piece of Velcro. I don't want to strip it down too thin, but it is a, th a little bit thinner than when we started. We're going to tie this in just behind that wire. And that's clean and easy. We'll, we'll go back just a little bit. I like it. Dave will do our next one. We'll find something in chartreuse. I think... You know what? I got some stuff here in my little... My little bin of magic. Actually... Hmm. We'll, we'll go down that rabbit hole later. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and just tie in our wire. I got a fine silver wire, 13 one hundredths. And we'll tie this in on the near side of the hook. And we'll go right to the rear. Okay, so now I'm going to make just a slight variation. Um, you know, earlier we did uh, chenille. I am kind of 
kind of a fan of peacock hurdle. So I'm going to take a small clump of, let's see, what do I got here? One, two, three, four, five, I don't know, six, seven pieces of peacock hurdle. Because this is going to be the equivalent to my uh, chenille here. I'm going to take a little clump of peacock hurdle. Peacock hurdle is relatively uh, an inexpensive easily expendable material. You get a whole bunch in a small bag. Just break those tips off at a certain point once we got enough locked in. And then it's going to get hackle over it and everything else, so don't have to worry about it too much. Alright, let's go ahead and gather our peacock hurl. And I like to twist. Little bit of a twist as we advance forward. I think this is gonna I think just add a little bit of added magical element underneath. before we get too far forward. Don't get greedy. Gotta leave room up front for the head. I think that'll work. Alright, we'll find our hackle feather, and this is just a grizzly, a soft grizzly cape. gonna be fine. Right down to the bottom. Trim off the fluff. Just get rid of it. A little notch on either side. And top side up. If we were laying side it would be uh, green side up. bit too much thread out there. If, if, if you ever find it's getting a little hard to control your thread uh, when you're tying something in, your thread just might be plain and simple too long. You might have a little bit too much thread hanging out. But what do I know? All right, here we go. There we go, governor. It's hackle time. All right, let's just do one full rear up front and an evenly spaced open spiral working our way to the rear. I guess if you did it way too tight, it would be like a little, uh, little Griffiths gnat. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Careful there, A.A. Ron. All right. So we wrapped forward from front to rear, and now we're going to wrap forward from rear to front. Whereas normally when we do our wire rivings and such, we tend to go as a counter wrap. My hackle broke off right there at the back end, which made me a little sad, but I'm not going to sweat it. And just work your way right through the hackle. That's what's going to lock it in, hold it all in. Um, don't lose any sleep trying to, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a Zen moment. You just got to work your way through it. Um, if you think about, you know, dodging every hackle fiber with the wire, um, you're going to capture every hackle fiber with the wire. But if you just kind of send it, technical term, just send it. Um, it seems to come out all right, and guess what? It's a it's a woolly worm. It's a fly. It's going in a fish's mouth, so don't sweat it. All right.
I'll build a little head. And everything nice and clean up front. And And we'll equip finish. Oh, oh, oh. I got some hackle in there. Can I untrap it before I cinch it down too tight? I think I can, I think I can. Cause that's what we got Mr. Bodkin for. Sorry, I hit the... There we go. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and trim the tail back, right a boot, there. Alright, let's add a little dab of gluia, and this will be it. Where did I put it? There it is. All right, one little drop on the end of the old bodkin, and here we go. Mr. Monkey says that's a nice looking fly. Mr. Bodkin. Mr. Bodkin the bunky. All right. So there we have it. That's kind of, not one, but two. Uh, more or less. That's a nice little variation for the woolly worm. I think adding peacock hurl in anything, mm, I think you're setting yourself up for success. Uh oh. That, that was not good. I think I just dropped a double-sided razor blade and I think it fell into one of my drawers. Pardon me while I look for this real quick. There it is. Okay. I just don't need to be digging through a drawer to find a double-sided razor blade on accident. That would definitely uh, not be good. Alright. Let's keep on keeping on. We got a black one, one with some peacock curl. What's your vote? What would you prefer if you were a fish? Peacock curl or black chenille? Looks like it's super off, but it's not. Ding, ding, ding. All right, let's go with our wire. The hook, once again, we're going to use these all night. 3366s, size 8s, by our friends all the way up in Norway. Actually, no, these hooks... Womp womp. These ones are made in China. Hooks made in China. Hmm. Well, the good ones are made in uh, Norway. At least the good mustads. Alright, let's go ahead and take a few turns. Oops. Alright. Wow, we got ten, ten of us are watching tonight. Holy smokes. That's a lot of us. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and check in. Say uh, say what's up, everybody. Let's let's be cordial and say hi to everybody. 
Um, what could we do for a fun question? Um, or just what's your... What would your ideal woolly worm be? If you could have a perfect woolly worm, what would it be? Let me know in the comments. The perfect woolly worm. I got an idea. I got an idea. What is this stuff? That's. I don't think that's going to work. Well, I, I'm not going to call this a chartreuse, but it is, so this is chartreuse, All right, there we are, there's a piece of chartreuse right there, That's we're going to call that chartreuse, this is more of a, a, a hot yellow, and this is a, kind of like that egg, egg foam yarn, Do a little tough of that. But first, we got to get our thread on. Secure our wire and such. All right, so we'll make our contact. Fold that tag end over. And work our way through. Then, once we're at the back end, that's about it. For me, that's not going anywhere. Pop and bop our way through. Because, I mean, there really is no... I mean, you're lashing down a lead wire, or lead-free wire, a weighted, a weighted wire onto your wooly worm hook. Just add a little splash of head cement in there. But realistically, you don't want to build it up too much. All right. So this is kind of kind of a foamy baloney. But I don't need too much of this, so I'm going to split this down just a little bit. All this stuff just breaks. Oh, let's take about a half. We can trim that down. I think that'll work with us. Excellent. We'll trim this down to length here when we're ready. Let's get our wire in there. I think if it was a uh, egg sucking, uh, would have to do an egg egg up front. Maybe it's a uh, egg pooping. No. This is the hot tail at the back end. All right, we're going to switch it up. Check this out. I got this little variegated kind of dark olive chenille. We're going to go with that. Give a hoot, don't pollute. All right, this simple, simple Palmer this forward.
Let's get our hackle to tie in there. And I'm just using a grizzly. Go ahead and just trim off the fluff. And then right on the back side. A little notch, a little high and tight. Boom. Boom. Now we got little barbs. Little barbs there to tie into there. That'll be alright. Just keep it behind the eye of the hook and you're good to go. the rear. Be mindful of the tip of the hook. Come on guys and gals, don't make me say it twice. That tip of that hook will break that feather quick, fast, and in a hurry. Before you even realize it, it's going to be broken. Let's take at least one full wrap right there at the rear to Lock down that hackle. Oh, I keep breaking that off instead of getting the opportunity to actually trim it off. Advance the wire forward. Nice and tight. Nice and clean. All right. Whip it off. clean trim and we'll trim our tail to length. I like a nice little puff at the end. Maybe about a hook scap. I like it. I love it actually. I don't know. What do you guys think? I like that. I like the green. That little, little bit of bright yellow. Boy, look at that for a chenille. Tie that onto a hook and just call it a big giant wacky worm, huh? I'd have to melt the, the ends on that. Do I have a fire anywhere near me? I don't think so. No flames on my bench right now. I don't know. I think my favorite is the... I don't know, I kind of like that. But I really like the uh, the red tail. Alright, keep on keeping on. Hey, these can, you can just really crank these out if you uh, so in the mood. Quick 
13 minute flies. I guess I'm jib I'm definitely jibber jabber. Now I'm gonna show you guys kind of you know an alternate wire lane technique. Um, this time I will start with my thread. camera lined up just a little bit better. All right, this time we're going to start with our thread on. All right, so now this time we're actually going to just, we're going to just lay the lead wire, or lead free wire, right on top. This on the side. And we'll wrap our way forward. And then we'll do it on the far side. So that's just another way of uh, adding some weight to a fly, um, you know, without busting out some highly calibrated scales. I, I really don't know, you know, what, what, what ways. But this is just uh, another way of adding some weight. Your setup. Now, another thing to consider is the way that's tied in there. Look how much that affected the hook gap. Zip zero zilch. You know what? We're going to experiment. We're going to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. What do you guys think of that? A little scientific experiment. Okay, so now let's grab that same wire and then we'll wrap it around the shank. Just like we've been doing before. We'll see which one weighs more. Possibly. We'll start with our thread up front. to work in there. Actually, I might have my digital scale right next to me. We shall see, though. Here it will be right here. If it's not, it won't be. And it is. 
question is, is does it have batteries? No. But that's an easy remedy. Hold on. I think when you uh, wrap it, obviously you're getting, you're using a lot more wire. Um, I don't know. But either way, I think they'll both fish. I think that's going to give you probably just a little bit more weight. This gives us just a little bit more, I don't know. Since we started with this one, we'll start with this one. Alright, we'll just get our thread back in the game. Alright, we're going to try this little bit of chartreuse, kind of electric yellow. It almost is like a, feels like a, uh, what do you want to call it, a troll. Feels like a troll hair almost. Troll from a troll doll. Not quite though. So we got a question I just saw. Steve is asking, uh, "What is this for?" Uh, it's it's basically for everything. It's an everything fly. Um, caught a pike on a size eight. Purple and woolly bugger ones. Yeah, chartreuse tail, white hackle. Um, I pulled this actually at what kind of pinged my brain to uh, tie this uh, was out of the Kaufman's uh, nymph pattern and it was in the back of, back of that and I saw that and it caught my eye and I was like you know what I want to tie some of them again um, let's go I'm gonna go with the peacock curl again oh, we got to do our uh, little bit of uh, wire first a war Fine silver wire. Ooh, that's a fine silver wire. Alright, we're gonna go with Peacock Curl again. I don't know, six, seven strands or so. Nice full size pieces. That's what we're after. Tied in by the tips. little bunch and once you got enough of it locked in you can just break the tips off 
always I never break off the final the finished end I really don't care so much about the rough cut um, up front yeah woolly worm is a uh, I guess it's it's one of those kind of I don't know it's right up there with the woolly bugger who invented the world's greatest fly why did he name it the Woolly Bugger? Let's give that peacock curl a little twist. And avoid the tip of that hook. Well, there's got to be something a little magical about uh, about that peacock. All right, let's get our hackle. This is just off a grizzly little cape. This is long enough you really don't need the hackle pliers, but I don't know. I found them earlier, so I'm like, I might as well use them. Work your way front to rear, tie it in top side up, top side out. So the top of the feather, the front, is facing towards the front. Mind the tip of the hook. keeps breaking off before I get a chance to ideally you want to trim that off with your scissors that last little bit of hackle at the very end but it is what it is and it's not what it's not how can it be both I don't know way we take it right up to that eye I need to start giving myself a little bit a little bit more room but I guess that's kind of using the 10 knot thread it's relatively relatively thin relatively small so I suppose I give myself just a little bit more of a liberty up towards the front knowing that it's not going to bulk up too quick too fast put a little dab of glue up front and it's going to be a okay let's go ahead and trim our tail I like that I like a little short little and a little dab buglia holy smokes 
Boy, that was a quick hour. What do you think, boys and girls? Let's find... I like it. <laughs> okay, so now we kind of got a little, little variation going on. Boom bada bing, what do you think? I think we're doing pretty good. <coughs> How are we doing for time? Holy smokes. We're only uh we're only halfway. That means we could probably tie twice as many. Get these little guys into a little bucket. I set them. I don't want to lose them. All right, let's keep on keeping on. Let's do a few more at least. We don't even at least one more because we already got that one prepped. But it, it, holy smokes, how awesome is that? Hey, Porpoise Power, thanks for tuning in there. You have yourself a wonderful, wonderful evening. Holy smokes, it's hard to believe. We are almost half, over halfway done with January. Pretty near February now. Wow. Let's get our thread going again. back to the red yarn. I'm gonna tease out the yarn with a little bit of velcro. enough to fray that all out. A little frizzle frazzle. So what do you guys think on your uh, woolly worm tails? Yeah, what do you? What's your preferred material? Because I know, you know, I mean, you look around. There's like glow bug material. There's yarn. There's marabou. There's hackle fibers. Um, you know, there's there's all sorts of stuff you could throw back there for the tail. What do you do? What do you use? Get our wire in. Tell you that for free. All right, let's see what we got for. This will actually be interesting. Let's give this a try. This is a red and white variegated chenille. Can't get this out. <laughs> 
We'll see what happens. Give those little threads a little tug. That's a thick chenille, too. <laughs> I don't know. I could be convinced otherwise. We're not done with it yet, so we'll we'll see. We'll save save judgment for later. Might be just a little bit too big of a chenille, I think. Hackle feather out. Hmm. Any mini mini mo. Alright Dave, thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time. this one. This one's going to go probably in the special <laughs> with the special flies. Like you look at this fly and you just want to say, well, bless your heart. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're definitely going in a better direction with the peacock curl. I'll tell you that for free. But we actually get to trim off our hackle on the back. I don't know if I dung the bell. Mm. I don't remember. Maybe that explains why this one just looks like a dump truck. Hit it. Let's this one be the best one yet. Most productive. Most productive woolly wo woolly weighted woolly worm ever. I don't know. It looks like a looks like a little hot mess, if you ask me. Yeah, not a fan of that one.
But it'll fish. Alright, let's do let's do one more and looks like half the half the crowd's come and gone already. Um might just wind it down after this. It has been an extremely long day. Um, you know, two weeks ago we had the Electoral College meet at the Capitol and the insurrection happened and the Capitol was attacked and I didn't have Wi-Fi all day, had no internet, couldn't barely watch nothing, see anything that was going on except through my phone and uh, you know, here we are two weeks later. Um, I don't think I spent, I spent all day watching the inauguration, all morning watching the inauguration stuff on, uh, on C-SPAN. And I tell you what, what's nice about C-SPAN, they don't really talk about this. What's nice about C-SPAN is it doesn't have all the additional talking heads commentary. You don't get all that extra blah 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 woof woof woof. You just hear the people talking, the speakers, the representatives, the whatever. Got to watch the swearing in ceremony for John Ossoff and Reverend Warnock. I, I helped campaign for them all the way from Minnesota down to Georgia. Because I used to live in Georgia. I used to live. North Atlanta? Not quite North Atlanta. Not quite Buckhead, as they say. So you can helicopter it here without doing the wire nippers because enough of it is tied down. That's kind of my, I think, probably my one of my favorite ways to tie in my weighted wires for my woe-wee worms. All right. Brush this out. Yeah, I like that. Just down there a little bit. Don't go too far. There we go. A little bit of fine silver wire. Alright, our final final plot twist. It's actually got a little bit of a uh, brown chenille here. Let's give this a try. A little bit a little bit finer, not quite a heavy medium. Come on, Tail, get back there. Yeah, this is laying down just a little bit a little bit nicer, I think. Not quite
quite as thick as that red and white one. Boy, that was a hot mess. Now I broke the thread. Oh! I think this might be a sign. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead after this fly. Because my body is sore. And we've tied a baker's half dozen already. All right. I'll try you again. Yeah, that seems to be working now. Just work our way forward. See, I think on the rest of the world of YouTube, I just show you how to tie it once. Here we go through the grind, make mistakes, experiment. I don't really think you'll find anything like this on any other YouTube channel. I honestly don't. I don't think... I don't think there's any... Name one other fly tire that, that grinds out a weekly live stream like this and has been doing it as long as I have. Pre-COVID. doing live streams for quite some time and you know the thing about the live streams I really enjoy when I get people to watch you know I can sit here and tie flies all day long but it's like a tree falling in the forest you know it falls it'll catch a fish but I want to make a sound I want to share what I I'm working on I, I just like sharing my passion and that's really ultimately what it comes down to, right? Sharing your passion. Because if you love something, let it go. And this is what I'm doing is letting it go. Knowledge should always be catch and release. I say, I say. All right. Little dab of head cement, and this will be good to go, as they say. All right, we're gonna tie one last bonus fly. It's not gonna be a woolly worm. It's we're just gonna chalk it up as bonus fly. <clears throat> and 
And then we're going to wrap up after that. Kind of like the brown. I think that turned out pretty neat. Alright, let's keep it with the size 8 hook. Silver wire in. Actually, Some of this yarn we've been plucking off. I'm going to just throw this in as a little bit of dubbing. Nice little dubbing noodle. No, not yet. I got this hackle. I'm going to tie you in by the tip. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to strip one side. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to run our wire through there. and by the
Feels like a Monday morning tie right now. This absolutely feels like something we would tie on a Monday morning. I'll tell you that for free. We'll just call this little red spider or something. And that's going to be it. Boy, that turned out pretty schnifty. This little bonus fly from the little bits from the Velcro off of the uh, red yarn. It goes to show once again that the frugal fly tire is seldomly bored. Well, I think I'm going to dip out a little bit early uh, tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long, long, long day watching American history unfold. Um, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and just start winding this puppy down. Right. So yeah, um, let me know in the comments what you guys think, which ones were your favorites, etc., etc. Um, yeah, we'll be at it again next week. Uh, the 27th will be the last Wednesday of January. How about that? So, well, it's been a week. Um, join me Monday, speaking of that Monday morning tie. Um, if you like the last fly that I tied tonight, you'll love what I do Monday mornings. Um, and I try to tie um, something different every Monday morning as well. So, um, yeah, thank you all for joining me here tonight. Um, apologize for leaving a little early. My back is just a little sore from being hunched over the camera because that's, that's the setup there. i got to lean over everything, so... Anyways, well, yeah, we're going to go ahead and roll. Roll credits, roll credits. Thank you all for tuning in. Happy tying, everybody. Tight lines. Peace.